Everybody loves a good list. We love to see what the top movies of all time are, or the top songs, or the top professional athletes. And if you are on a top 10 list in your chosen profession, you know you have done good. But if you make this particular top 10 list, it's actually not a good thing, because it means you haven't done anything good, rather, you have done bad. We are talking today about the FBI's top 10 most wanted fugitive list, and who are the most notorious individuals to ever make the list. The FBI's top 10 most wanted fugitives list got its start on March 14, 1950. It was created by then-director of the FBI, J. Edgar Hoover, in an effort to publicize the agency's most dangerous and high-priority fugitives. The list was established as a way to engage the public and seek their assistance in capturing these individuals. The original idea was to harness the power of media and public outreach to generate tips and leads that could lead to the capture of dangerous criminals who had managed to evade the authorities. By placing a spotlight on the most wanted fugitives, the FBI believed they could increase the chances of apprehending them. The first list, known as the 10 Most Wanted Fugitives list, was published in various newspapers across the United States, along with identifying information and photographs of the fugitives. The list initially consisted of bank robbers and other violent criminals. The fugitives on the list were chosen based on the severity of their crimes and their potential danger to society. Over time, the list has evolved to include various types of criminals, including murderers, terrorists, and other serious offenders. The FBI continues to update and publicize the list regularly, using various media platforms and partnerships to reach as many people as possible and solicit their help in capturing the fugitives. The top 10 most wanted fugitives list has been a successful tool for the FBI, leading to the apprehension of numerous dangerous criminals and providing an example of how public engagement can be an essential asset in the pursuit of justice. So who are the most notorious individuals to make the list? Let's dive in and see. Thomas James Holden Of the hundreds of names to appear on the FBI 10 most wanted fugitive list, Thomas James Holden was the first. One half of the notorious Holden Keating gang, he and his co-conspirator, Francis Keating, conducted a string of robberies in the Midwest during the 1920s and 30s. After his second stint in prison, Holden, after drinking heavily, shot his wife and her two brothers. That was enough to see him appear on the first top 10 list in 1950. He was arrested in 1951. Ruth Eisman Shear. In 1968, Barbara Jane Mackle, the daughter of a wealthy Florida land developer was abducted and buried in a box for more than three days while a ransom was demanded. The investigation revealed that a couple, Gary Stephen Christ and Ruth Eisman Shear, were behind the scheme. Mackle was rescued and Christ was arrested, but Eisman Shear eluded capture. She was added to the FBI Top 10 Wanted list in 1969 making her the first woman to be so honored. She was captured in 1969 after a three-month manhunt. Eric Rudolph During the 1996 Summer Olympics in Atlanta, a bomb was detonated in Centennial Olympic Park killing two and wounding 111 others. After Richard Jewell was famously wrongly accused, further investigation revealed that the bomber was Eric Rudolph. In addition to the Centennial Park bombing, Rudolph was accused of bombing two abortion clinics and a lesbian bar. He was added to the list in 1998, and for five years he was on the run, hiding in the Appalachian Mountains. In 2003 he was arrested in North Carolina. James Whitey Bulger As the leader of the Winterhill Gang, James Whitey Bulger is one of the most notorious mob bosses in American history. He engaged in multiple criminal enterprises, not the least of which were racketeering, money laundering, extortion and murder. While facing prosecution in Boston, he fled and remained on the run for 16 years. He was placed on the FBI's top 10 most wanted list in 1999 and remained until his capture in 2011. During his time on the list, he was the second most wanted man in the United States behind someone else we will talk about shortly. James Earl Ray When James Earl Ray assassinated Martin Luther King Jr. in 1968, he had already been convicted of armed robbery and fraud. After the murder of King, Ray went on the run and was placed on the FBI's list. After several months on the run, he was captured in London and sent back to the United States where he pled guilty to King's murder and was sentenced to 99 years in prison. In 1977, Ray, along with six other prisoners escaped, and he again found himself on the FBI's top 10 list. Three days later he was captured and sent back to prison where this time he remained. Ramsey Youssef 
Prior to the attack on the World Trade Center on September 11, 2001, there was another attack on the same location. In 1993, the World Trade Center was attacked when a terrorist planted a bomb in the parking garage underneath the buildings. The explosion claimed the lives of six people and left more than a thousand injured. Ramzi Youssef, one of the masterminds behind the attack, fled the U.S. just hours later and was subsequently added to the FBI's list. While on the run, Youssef masterminded what is now known as the Bojinka plot, which included a plan to assassinate then-Pope John Paul II, and attack 11 planes on their way to the United States. The plan failed, and Youssef was later arrested after one of his former associates gave him up. Simeon Mogilevich Referred to as the FBI as, the most dangerous mobster in the world, Simeon Mogilevich is responsible for arms trafficking, racketeering, money laundering, and murder, just to name a few. He oversaw a Canadian company and was accused of scamming millions of dollars from investors when he was placed on the FBI's top 10 most wanted list in 2009. Living freely in Moscow because of his high-profile connections, he was taken off the list in 2015 because there was no extradition treaty with Russia. Although currently still sought by the FBI, he remains on the run. Ted Bundy Responsible for the murders of no less than 30 women during the 1970s, Ted Bundy is one of the most infamous serial killers to ever walk the earth. Bundy used his good looks and charm to attract his victims who he then assaulted and killed. Captured in 1975, he escaped not once, but twice, and while on the run, he continued to kill. In 1978 after his second escape, he was added to the FBI's top 10 list. Five days later during a traffic stop, Bundy was captured, this time for good. Osama bin Laden While it can be debated who should or shouldn't be included in a list of the most infamous people to ever appear on the FBI's top 10 most wanted, there is little debate that this next individual not only should be included, but is probably the worst of the worst. On September 11, 2001, planes flew into the World Trade Center, the Pentagon, and a field in Shanksville, Pennsylvania killing almost 3,000 people. The mastermind of that attack was the leader of the terrorist organization known as Al-Qaeda, Osama bin Laden. But he wasn't added to the FBI's top 10 most wanted list after 9-11, because he was already on the list. In 1999, bin Laden was added to the list because of his involvement in the 1998 U.S. Embassy bombings in Kenya and Tanzania. After the attack on September 11, bin Laden became the most wanted man in the world if not the most wanted man in history. So much so that a $25 million bounty was put on his head. Bin Laden came off the list upon his death in 2011 at the hand of United States Special Operations. So there you have it. The most infamous people to ever appear on the FBI's top 10 most wanted list. Comment below and let us know who would be on your list. Be sure to like this video and hit that subscribe button to join us on more exciting journeys through history. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you won't miss any of our future explorations. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for the next episode of Revealing History.